Hello friends! This is a OneNote tutorial that I did for the OneNote Masterclass community run by Kurt Suzer, who you may have seen here on my channel. This video is in English, even though the Masterclass is a German language community. Uh, enjoy, and I will see you at the end. Hello and welcome. This is Michelle Christensen of OneNote Worthy Life. And today I want to show you a very simple but useful thing that I do in OneNote all the time, and that is to create reusable checklists. I create checklists for things I do over and over again, and I save a blank copy in my notebook. When I'm ready to do that thing, I create a new copy of the list and use it. So first I'll show you an example, and then I'll tell you all the ways that this benefits me. So anytime I know that I'm going to have a new process in my life, I start creating a checklist that I reuse and edit so that that process gets better over time. The main notebook that I manage my life from uh, has a section in it called blanks, and in that section I keep a blank copy of every checklist I use or any other type of thing that I reuse, and then I just create a copy when I need it. So on my screen right now is one of my checklists, and that's my fitness class checklist. So for exercise, I like to go to fitness classes, and I'm fortunate where I live, which is Los Angeles, to have a wide variety of fitness activities available, and they're both indoor and outdoor. So some things like a water bottle or a hair tie to keep my hair in a ponytail, uh, I need those for all of my classes. But other things like a yoga mat are only used in certain classes. So I started this checklist one day when I forgot to bring a hair tie. And it's a really small thing, but having your hair kind of flopping all over and in your way when you're trying to work out really changes the quality of the workout and it just wasn't as good. So again, it's a small thing, but I only forgot it once. So the list has all the things I might need for any kind of workout that I do. And then I just delete the things that I don't need for whatever workout I'm doing that day. I just find that easier than keeping multiple lists. So to use this, I make a copy of the blank list. So you can either copy the text container, which I'll show you now. So this is in a single text container. You can highlight the whole thing, right click, and then copy and paste. Or if it's on its own page, you can copy the entire page. You'll hover over the page name, which on my screen says example fitness class, right click, and then click move or copy, and then you can create a copy of the whole page. For this example, I'm just going to copy the text box or text container. So I'm going to hit copy. I'm going to come over to the middle of the page and I'm going to click paste. And then I'm just going to paste it once more because we'll do two examples. For my first example, I want to do, I'm going to modify this list for an outdoor hit class. That stands for high intensity interval training. So I don't need grippy socks. I don't need a yoga mat. I don't need a blanket for under my mat. That would be for an outdoor yoga class. I have a mask on here. Um, we did need masks during COVID. We don't need them right now, but I've been keeping it on there in case that comes up again. But I don't need this for an outdoor class. I don't need leggings for this class. And I would actually do this much faster in real life. I do need a towel. I need a hair tie. I need a sweatband. I have to put on sunscreen. Water bottle. Fitbit. That's my fitness watch. My tote bag. I like to remove the dog hair from my clothing. I need my bike helmet, my bike lock and key, and lights for my bike if I'm going out at night. So another example of this would be a indoor bar class. And bar is a fitness class that's based around using the type of bar that ballet dancers use. So I do need grippy socks for that, but I don't need a yoga mat or a blanket for under my mat. I might need a mask if it's indoors. I do need leggings and I need a towel, a hair tie, a sweatband. I don't need my sunscreen unless I'm gonna be outdoors getting there. I do need my water bottle, my Fitbit, my tote bag. Definitely need to remove the dog hair. And if I'm riding my bike, then I'll have my bike helmet, my bike lock and key, and my bike lights. So that's how I use this. This would be how I actually use it in real life for two different classes. And one of the things I like about keeping this in one place, like in one blank copy, is that I can group these things by where they are in my house. So... For example, everything up to the leggings are all in one spot in my house. Then these things are all near each other. And then these things are all near each other. And then um, all of these things down here at the bottom are things I would do right before leaving the house. 
So you could group this any way you wanted, but I just found that as I was getting ready for class, I would be running all over my house, picking different things up. And now I have it, I go to the, one, the first place, gather all those things, go to the second place, gather all those things. So it's made it much more efficient for me to get ready for class. So some of the benefits of doing this are that it simplifies things that I do over and over again. There is no reason to reinvent the entire process for things that you repeat over and over again. So if you figure out something new that you need, like for example, when we got into COVID and we started to need masks, I, would, I added a mask to the list. Uh, as you continue to do something, you can rearrange the checklist to make it more efficient. And that would be when I showed this, how I grouped it based on the areas in my house where those things are stored. Uh, as I mentioned before, you only forget something once, because once you forget it once, you can add it to your list. It makes me faster. Like instead of having to think about all these things, I can just push through that checklist really quick and I can be ready for class very, very fast. Another thing to that to me is personally really important is that I'm not using a valuable brain power trying to remember things or plan things. It's just right there. I just pull up my checklist and go. And then a final advantage is that it allows me to see how long things take. Like now I know that when I have a fitness class, I need five to 10 minutes to gather up all the little odds and ends I'm gonna need for class. Um, but if I didn't have this checklist, I wouldn't know. It, does it take me three minutes or does it take me 15 minutes? Now I know it takes between five and 10. So there are many, many ways you can use this, probably more than I've even thought of. And here are just some of the ways that I use this idea. So a vacation uh, packing list. This is one of the best things um, that I use a reusable checklist for. And again, you only forget something one time because then you can add it to your checklist. If you travel for work, you could create a separate prep list for that purpose because maybe you need equipment or chargers or things like that. If you host or plan parties, you could have a checklist for that. Um, I have a checklist for when I post videos to my YouTube channel for the things I do leading up to getting that video posted. I have a, ch a checklist for when I plan my editorial calendar. That's my content calendar. And then I also have a presentation checklist. So uh, I do some live streaming on my channel and I have checklists for the weeks leading up to the live stream and the day of, and it makes sure that I don't forget to turn on the audio or hit the go live button or something. And it's really, really helpful. So um, this is how I use reusable checklists. So I hope, uh, first of all, I hope you like this hat. Thank you so much to Kurt of the OneNote Masterclass for sending this hat. I absolutely love it. It's just really nice. I don't know if you can tell how nice it is in the video, but I love it. Um, I hope you found this video helpful and that you find ways to make your life easier with re using reusable checklists. Be sure to tag me in the Masterclass if you find a way to use this, because I would love to see how you use this and what kind of reusable checklists you come up with. So have a great day and I will see you around in the masterclass. Bye-bye. So that's it. If you like this video, please let YouTube know by hitting the thumbs up button. And if you want to see more content on OneNote, on the Getting Things Done system, and on general personal organization, please do subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.